Well, what a pleasure. I'm now joined by Naomi Hallis, who, as you know, is giving this year's uh, Fred Cavley Symposia Lecture. Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for joining us, Naomi. We really appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here in Baltimore at the APS. And you're giving the uh, Cavley Symposia uh, this, this year. That's fantastic, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. It's a really great opportunity to talk to a very a broader audience of physicists than ma many of us ever have the opportunity to speak with. So what are you going to be talking to them about? So today I'm going to be talking about some properties, some unique properties of metallic nanoparticles and how they interact with light. And this is a field that started with gold and silver nanoparticles, with precious metals, and what we've been doing over the last couple years is moving from the, um, precious metals to much more sustainable materials like aluminum, the most abundant metal on earth, and seeing if the physics that is so uh, that, that drives all of these very, very interesting, uh, not just physical phenomena, but then the applications resulting from them, if this is also something that we can do in very sustainable materials. Tell us a little bit about some of the applications of your work. So, uh, so our applications range from uh, very durable display technologies to uh, solar cell enhancement to photochemistry. So um, being able to derive chemical reactions, something that we don't think about as, uh, as having an energy need because we take chemistry and materials. So we take them for granted, but we don't realize the amount of energy consumption that it takes to actually make new types of materials. So developing ways to make new molecules at room temperature under mild conditions is extremely important. And another area that we're talking about today is solar steam generation. We've developed a way to using me me metallic nanoparticles that both absorb and scatter light to generate steam without boiling water. Finally, how important do you think the Kavli Symposium itself is? I think it is, it is, it is really, a, um, it, it's a tremendously important uh, event and it's wonderful that the Kavli Foundation has carried Fred's vision forward and is able to pursue this at a lot of different venues. I think it really, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful to have this at physics meetings and at chemistry meetings, as well as all the efforts that the Kavli Foundation does around the world in different institutions. Well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Really appreciate it. Thank you.